Hey guys, I welcome to this our first lesson in Leaving Cert High Level Maths uh, construction work. Um, in the previous kind of um, video, I took you through the list of required constructions, uh, the 19 constructions that I would have on my list for constructions, and um, the, the way we boil that down to just 12. So over the next number of lessons, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through those 12 constructions, show you exactly how to do them. So you're completely covered for any construction work that comes up on the Leaving Cert paper. And the one I'm going to do in this first lesson here is I'm going to do the, the construction of root 2. Uh, we're constructing a line segment that's exactly root 2 that's long, and this is dealt with in your notes on page 4. Now, the two constructions I'm going to do in the first two videos here, constructing root 2 and root 3, essentially all you're being asked to do there is accurately draw your set squares. So in your geometry set, you've got two, um, the triangular with the two set square rulers. Okay, you've got one that looks like that. Okay, if you like the slightly smaller one, the isosceles one, and you've got one then where, which is kind of stretched, which is a bit longer like that. So you've got your two set squares like that. It's this guy here is the one that we're dealing with in this construction, right? So if you look at that, that um, set square there, there's a right angle in this corner here, all right? And what makes this, what defines this particular set square is that side there and that side there are the same length, okay? In the other set square, all three sides are different lengths. In this one here, they're both the same length. So if you say, look, that's one unit there, it means so is that one because they're the same length. So how long would the remaining side in that triangle be? So if you call that x there, well, because it's a right angle triangle, if you use Pythagoras, x squared is one squared plus one squared, and one squared plus one squared, that's two. That means x is root two, okay? So this side here is the root two you're looking for. So if you draw any right angle triangle where the two arms of the right angle are equal in length and call that one unit, the hypotenuse will be root 2. So I'm trying to draw an accurate version of this triangle here. Obviously in this triangle here, because it's uh, the, these two sides are the same length, these two angles here are both 45. So it's 90, 45, 45. That's that um, set square you're dealing with. But this is the principle I'm going to be using here. Now if, I, if I've got a line segment one unit long, if I can draw another line segment the same length at right angles to that, join these two together, there's the root 2 I'm looking for. Okay, that's how I'm going to do this particular construction. So what does that look like? Well, let's say I'm given a line segment here and I'm told, look, that line segment there is one unit long. Construct one that's root, exactly root two units long. So what I want to do first here when I'm doing this, as described in your notes, well, first of all, I want to make that side a little bit longer. So I just put my, my, my straight edge down along the line like that and then just extend it out here. You, you want to make sure it's, it's at least twice as long as the original segment. You made the original segment um, at least twice as long as it was. So I just extend the line segment that way, all right? And now, if I get my compass out, um, over the next couple of lessons, I'm going to be using this preposterous thing here. So any mistakes that, that I make here, let's put it down to this ridiculous implement and not my inabilities um, as a geometer, all right? But if I put the point of my compass now on this middle point here, like that, stretch the pencil out till it's touching this end, and then bring the compass around like that. All the way around, it hits the other end. There we go. Okay? So I'll draw that large arc like that. So by putting my, the point of my compass here, okay, stretch the pencil out that touches that end and bring it around here. So if this is one unit long, so is this. So that's two units long altogether. Right? Now, what I'm going to do, as you're going to see now in construction number three, okay, in lesson number three now, um, in, in a couple of lessons' time, I'm going to take you step by step through doing the perpendicular bisector of a line segment. That's one of the really important constructions you probably would have met before. But it's one that we use all over the place. We're going to be using it for about four other constructions on paper too. So it's one technique to make sure you've got how you do a perpendicular bisector. So if you're not sure about that, you can check out lesson number three and just remind you how to do that. But I'm going to do that now, that perpendicular bisector construction on this line segment here. That's the, that's the principle, right? So what I want to do is get my compass out again now. I put the point of my compass on one end of the line segment like this, right? And stretch the pencil out. It doesn't matter how wide, as long as it's more than halfway. So as long as I go beyond this point here, that's all that matters, okay? And then just um, from there, just sweep the compass around. Draw an arc like that. And then without changing the range of the compass, so it's still the same as it was um, a moment ago, put the point of your compass on the other end here, like that. And then again, sweep it around that way. 
Okay? So what I've done there now is I've used the comp a compass of the same radius to draw these two arcs. So, but the point of my compass here, just stretch the pencil anywhere be beyond that middle point there. Draw an arc like that, and then keeping the compass the same width, put the point of the compass on this end, and draw an arc that way. Now, if I join these two together here, this arc, where these two arcs meet, and where the two arcs meet above the, the line, I'll join those two together. Right? Just carefully. Just be careful when you're doing this. Put this down um, accurately, like that, and draw that line. Right? So what you'll notice now, if you've drawn that line, this point up here, there, that's a right angle there. And do you see it? This side here and this side here are the same length. There's our isosceles right angle triangle, right? So because again, because remember that we're on this arc here because at the point of my compass here to draw that red line there. So every point on that red line there is one unit away from here, right? So it's one unit from there to there and it's one unit from there to there, and that's a right angle because this construction produces a right angle in the middle. So there's our root two there. So if I get my straight edge out now and join these two guys together, there's my answer, okay? So there's the, the, the third side of that right angle triangle. So this, this side here, there it is. That guy there is exactly root two, so we label that. Okay, so that's my right angle, that's my, my root to there. I've accurately drawn that right angled um, triangle, the isosceles right angle triangle set square from your geometry set. Now, if this was zero on the number line, and that's one on the number line, if I wanted to mark on the number line where root two is, you can see I just put the point of my compass here, pencil on that point there, and then ju just drop it down. And then wherever that marks, that's root two there. As a rule, he won't ask that. He just wants the line segment root two units long. So once I've drawn this here, I've got the right angle by construction. All right, and these two sides the same length, join those two together, that's your root two. That's your first construction.